meat stone, a five-month-old lab mix who was was astray on the streets and that came in t into a shelter with Parvo. He got the medical treatment he needed and was able to find a foster home to teach him the ways of being a good pup to go to a forever home. Meet Birdie, a five-year-old lab Labrador retriever who was was brought in by a good Samaritan after her owner, her previous owner died. She was, the previous owner was a, she, Birdie was well taken care of by her previous owner, but was very scared in the shelter. So she was brought to a foster home and was able to, to connect with the other dog's kids and learn again to be a good pup. Meet Augie, a Wattweiler mix who loves tug of war and loves to play and is very, very playful for her age. She's 10 years old. She is looking for a home that doesn't have dogs or other cats. Cats or other dogs. <laughs> um, some people have their own, everyone has their own opinion on whether you should buy from a shelter or from a breeder. And many people like the fact that they can buy from a breeder and pick the puppy and raise it from, as, from birth. But I'm here to tell you why you should adopt from your local animal shelter. We will be going through the physiological, the financial, and the moral aspects of adopting a shelter animal. Um. Physiologically speaking, <laughs> many dogs who find themselves at a shelter come from a bad situation, which should not be the case, but it is. They go through either, they either, they come to the shelter either abandoned, neglected, or dumped, which is super sad. But that should not be how a dog lives. They should be in a forever home with a family that loves them and takes good care of them. You could be the person that changes a dog's life and take them out of the scary shelter life. I'm not saying that shelters are bad, actually quite the opposite. Shelters and humane societies do a lot for animals by training or taking them for walks, taking care of them, feeding them, and doing one-on-one -on -one sessions to make them a better candidate for adoption. Um, according to diamondpet.com, unfortunately, that is not always the result, and many dogs end up being euthanized due to lack of holding space and failure to get adopted after a certain time. Many shelters, especially kill shelters, have to euthanize their animals due to the lack of holding space. And that's because all, the, all of the breeders are breeding too many making them come back to the shelter and be abandoned. Um, moving on to a financial perspective, dogs that come from breeders are way more expensive than dogs that come from shelters. Shelter animals only... Um, hold on. According to diamondpet.com, some breeds of animals, some breeds of dogs who come from breeders can cost anywhere from a thousand to a million dollars for a puppy. And of course that all depends on how many litter mates, the breed, and the health of the puppy. But that's still an outrageous price to pay for a dog when you could go to your local animal shelter such as Midlands Humane Society, and get a puppy for only $400. That still sounds like a lot, but actually they come, they already come vaccinated, neutered and spayed, ready to go to their forever home. Whereas when you get from a breeder, they don't have to do anything of that sort and you have to take care of it on top 
of the price of your puppy. Um, we have a moral obligation to pets and mainly dogs because they don't have a voice for themselves and can't speak on their behalf. So we have to do it for them. We have to stand up for the animals and give them a voice. There have been many examples of when dogs come to the aid of humans. And one example, and one example is from IndieStar.com, where they stated that a two-year-old pit bull named Ace saved his deaf 13-year-old owner's life from a burning home. He came to the rescue to his, to his kid and saved him saved him by licking his face and continuing to take him out of the house unharmed. That's amazing. Dogs have a protective instinct and come to the aid of humans all the time. Why can't we do the same for them? We should take care of them and come to the aid of them when they are in a time of need too. Today, I hope you realize that from buying, that buying from a humane society or a shelter is better in the long run. We went through the psychological, financial, and moral parts of buying from a humane society or shelter. I hope you take into consideration on buying a shelter pet and giving them a good home. Thank you.